welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the St. Louis Cardinals and the San Diego Padres. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, first pitch coming up. And today's starting pitcher, you Darvish. Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. We'll elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems yeah. to go up. And now the DH, Brendan Donovan. Brendan Donovan. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike at the knees, and we're underway from San Diego. Left hand hitter waits on the ground right side Bogarts with the throw to first one out in the top of the first here's a Cardinals lineup now they're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound which can be a big time challenge when he's right and working mostly from the knees down. Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch until then make him elevated because guys that throw those sinkers those two seamers really hard for them to be effective up in the zone those are pitches you can hammer but when you get a cookie you don't want to miss it one down base is empty Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. To third, Machado. Two away hey. here in the top of the first. That is third. The right field, number 21, Lars Newtbar. Lars Newtbar. Next up for the Cardinals. Immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take. Gets ahead in the count. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Merrill under this one. And makes the play, and that's out number three. On to the bottom of the first. No score. here at Petco Park and now here's the starter for St. Louis it's Sonny Gray well I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup group you know it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch but he does mix it in when he needs it he's just got to make sure that it's not flat otherwise it's going to get hit hard so look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play a ground ball something like that to get out of an inning change it up for a hitter also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in an at bat. Here comes the 0 1. Right through there for a strike. And that one is lifted in the air. Edmund sprinting for this one. Long run tracks it down. And there's one down. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, this is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent and you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Tatis waits. Hit hard, base hit. So the man aboard now with one away. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. 
Now it's going to be Jake Cronenworth. Sinker gets the bottom of the zone, and that's a strike. Tatis, the runner at first, with one gone in the inning. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Here's Manny Machado now. There's a strike at the knees. Going one. Right hander kicks deals. One one pitch out, but no action. And Manny gets a piece. A one two. And Machado able to spoil that pitch. Two outs. And that skips in the dirt. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. And that's in the dirt. Three and two down. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. And he walked him. Batting good. Not, Not shortstop. So up next, ha Sung Kim. Right through there for a strike. Two on, two outs. Bounce to the left side. Arenado to first, in time. Gets him easily, ends the inning. Padres leave a pair. Scoreless after one. Back here in San Diego, and now the veteran third baseman, Nolan Arenado. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy's at the top of the list. As he turns on the rubber you know, with that good live arm One delivers. And Not even close there. One and oh. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play. Can throw from so many different angles and makes really tough plays look very easy. The pitch. Ball outside. Chase that time. So, what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, but one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. Stays alive. When you look at the ability to save runs defensively, but then also put runs up on the scoreboard, that's the kind of player that every championship team needs to have. In the air, center field. And they get Arenado for the out. And yeah, there's one away. That's good. 
And up to him is Wilson Contreras. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. First pitch misses. When you got a catcher like this guy with a big arm like that behind the plate, it really shuts down the running game. And here it comes. Liner, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. That is it. The second base hit. No one. Here's Nolan Gorman. I'll say this as a former position player and base stealer. When you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm, you really have to change your approach. Can't try to steal because you'll get thrown out. Maybe get a little bigger lead, be aggressive on the secondary, but this type of guy shuts the running game down. Ball one, one there. Freddie Ferguson behind the dish calling the balls and strikes. Second inning here, no score. That misses, no and it's two and one. Just misses. Contreras, the runner at first with two gone. Foul ball. to the plate. Yeah. Well, as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the uh -huh. offense. And down on strikes. Third out, and that ends the frame. The cards leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second. Here and here's the catcher, Luis Campusano. Luis Greg, back to work. Yeah. And a strike in there. No ball. One strike. That one oh. missed. It's a good take. Two again. And two, another two. ball. Hey. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Loki just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count of the two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Now batting jerks in pro far. Pitch ball. misses, ball one. Hey, 
One down, base is empty. That's inside. That's 2 0. On the ground to first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Batting it. The designated hitter. And here is Matthew, Matthew Batten. Pitch is in there. Strike one. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. And he deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two out, space is empty. On the ground to the left, win. Whips it across. Padres go down one, two, three. Nothing doing there for the Friars. We'll move to the third with no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. On to the third the inning. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Tommy Edmond. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Ground ball up the middle. Throw over to Cronenworth. And they get Edmond for the out. First of all, that's just a nice job to even get to that ball. And then even more impressive was the throw. Off balance. Had to try to, in the air, get his shoulders turned and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. And up next for St. Louis, Mason Wynn. And that's, that's in the, the dirt. Win playing up the middle at short. Wow. 22 years old. And he was a second-round pick in 2020 top of the third no score foul ball there Right there, he threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. And a swing and a miss. And there's two away. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Here's the Cardinal DH, Brendan Donovan. Over one so far. There's a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And a foul ball. The line of the pitch. Chopped to the left side. Machado. St. Louis goes down in order. So they make short work of them there. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. No score. And we're back we as go. we go to the last of the third. The Stepping in for San Diego, Jackson Merrill. Merrill. The line and the pitch. That's in there. Strike one. Oh, and one. Bunting for a hit. Bare hand scoop. Gathers and throws. And they get the out. No battle. Number two. Second baseman. Xander. Bogart. So the San Diego batting order turns over. And here comes Xander Bogarts. Ground ball right side. And it stays fair. And that rolls into the corner. Around first, heading for two. Bogart's into second. 
I'm sure he feels really good about that one. He was definitely late on that pitch, but he didn't get beat. He got the bat on plane and just kept his hands tight to shoot it down the first baseline for the knock. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. So man aboard one down and it's Tatis at the plate. Sonny Gray checks on the runner. Hey, Bogart dives back. And that's in for a strike. One out, the runner at second here in the last half of the third. Good eye no, that in that miss, spot. Side corner, and that's called a strike. and fires fights that one away still one and two and Feel downstairs Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. And That's another ball. ball. He should get a pretty good Ball's pitch out. to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Deals. Bows it back with two strikes. Man at second. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. It's interesting. He plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Swings through that one. And I think that skill set oh, really one. upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Next off, one and way one. off the plate. Next offering is in for a strike. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. That one Here almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Bogarts, the lead runner at second. Tatis over at first, so going away. Ground ball could be two. Flips it for one, and that's two. Exactly where he wanted that textbook 643 double play gets out of the jam and back in the dugout. As we go to the top of the fourth, here's Paul Goldschmidt. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. The pitch. That's in for a strike. 
You know, these Cardinals just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. The line to kick the pitch. That misses. Oh. And the count one and two. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and that expanding that ball. strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. Up the middle. Oh, nice play. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. This is great work by the shortstop. He makes the throw across the diamond after the dive and just wasn't able to get it there in time. But I love how much he put into that play. And on the other side, he was really giving it his all down the line as well. Nice play on both ends. Lars Newtbar next up for the Cardinals. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. <laughs> oh, 01 now. And That's ball one. One and one. Right that two. one's in there. That's strike two. And there's a ball. Two balls, two strikes. Now two and two. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Go ahead run at first. Nobody out. Top half of inning number four. And now it's filled up. Well, on this count runner not known for his speed but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here Boo. Nolan Arenado in the St. Louis on deck circle. Side and that is ball four. Well, we've seen this recipe cook up a big inning plenty of times. Two runners oh, on, nobody oh, out, and they're oh, in the heart oh, of their oh, order. It's just a oh, great oh, opportunity to put oh, up oh, a crooked oh. number. Oh. Arenado oh. up to bat next, lays off oh, no. the ball. First and second here, no outs. Next Good. pitch in for a strike, and the count is one and one. Righty delivers. Misses the zone, and he gets him to chase. Man, that what was pretty count? gross right there. Pitch in the dirt. The count now two and two. Just oh, misses with that one. I got to call NLDS game four here in 2022 at Petco Park where the Padres knocked out their rivals, the L.A. Dodgers. The place was just nuts the entire game. Terrific fan support. On the ground, two ball. Quick feed to second for one. And they get him easily at first. It's a double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. One for one with a single so far. And that's in there at the knees.
Runner at third, two away. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on this approach. And a pitch. One ball, two strikes. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Two outs. That one two not two. close. Two balls, two strikes. You know, we used to say, if you're scared, get a dog. Throw the fastball, man. If you're scared, get a dog, man. Just, just get a dog. there and sometimes you just got to let it out that's an outstanding job of taking that executing and getting out of a tough inning back here in San Diego here's Manny Machado to start it off the third baseman Manny Machado Gray back to work off no, the mark that missed, there. That's the ball. And that is ball one. There's a strike. He must have been looking for something else because he gave one up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit. No, that's low. Ball. Next offering is downstairs. The pitch. Wouldn't Three chase one. that time. It's a leadoff walk, four, and day. that's the go-ahead run. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggling to score in this one. You don't want to wake a team that's up with the three pass. And the batter will be the shortstop, Hassan Kim. Grounded out his first time up. And that's oh. downed it away. Way to lay off that pitch down. And that is in for a strike. And it's one and one. Kicks and deals. Yeah. Nobody out. Runner at first. Deals. All right, ground ball for base stop. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Oh, just a nice yeah, job coming through. Yeah. Pretty high level Ooh. spot right there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. First and second, no outs. Luis Campusano getting ready to hit. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Right. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. It's 0 and 1. Oh. 
Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Oh. Next pitch is outside. Machado over at second. Kim on at first with nobody out. Sharp grounder. That's through for base hit. They won't test it here. Base is loaded. No outs. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Just a simple ground ball the other way. Had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel. Put the ball in play and just hope it finds a hole. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder. Jerks and Profar. Golden opportunity right here. And that one is inside ball one. Base is juiced. No outs. Swing and a miss. And one and strike. one. I need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something. But nope. you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. And fouled off. The 2 2 now. Lined into right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Now, the designated hitter, Matthew Batten. And next is the designated hitter, Matthew Batten. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. Slap the other way, foul. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball still 0-2. Through it, and that's a strikeout. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Jackson Merrill, the next up for the Padres. He's over one. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And a pitch. Nope. Ball. One and one. Late yeah. with the swing there. Well, he just threw that fastball one by him. Count. Elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. And a ball and two strikes. Got him. Breaking ball clips the outside edge. Pods leave him loaded. Still no score. We go to the top of the fifth. Digging in. Nolan Gorman. Nolan Gorman. The pitch. And that's off. 
the inside edge and it's one to know you know these cards do a great job Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way and I'm seeing very yeah. patient at bats out of them they haven't produced a run yet but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb so they're hoping that starts to pay off soon the one one two and one there's a strike they're in a good spot thanks to their pitching, but no one would be shocked if this offense strings something together to take the lead. Two two down. Gets a piece and stays alive. Misses, and it's three and two. Payoff pitch. Runs it to 96 to record the punch out. Really good battle right there. And that final pitch, well, that could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. Now the left fielder, Jordan Walker. First pitch, no not close. One down, base is empty. Ground ball left side, that's and that's just foul. And the pitch in the air, right side. Tatis after it, hauls it in for the out. Two down. Up next, the card. And yeah, here comes Tommy Edmond. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. There's a strike. All tied up, and we're at the top of the fifth. The pitch. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. On the ground to third. To first, oh, but it pulls hey. him off the bag. Oh, Maybe just a little hard. lack of concentration on that throw. Two out, you think you've got the play made. Players are starting to move off the field towards the dugout, and then everyone's got to come back. Sometimes you take that throw for granted, and that's all it takes to keep the inning going. Now up for St. Louis, Mason Wynn. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Darvish checks on the runner, and he's back in easily. Leads off first with two down to the inning. Next pitch is downstairs. Oh. Really good take, especially with two strikes.
gives a 2 2. Good job to fight that one off. The 2 2. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Next is the designated hitter, Brendan Donovan. And he takes one right on the black. That's strike one. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. That's in there. And that's strike two. Man, I'm putting a post out there on the mound right now. I mean, these are tough spots where pitchers really got to bear it out. Those last two pitches were well executed. Left hand batter waits. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Two on, two outs. And now one, one and two. Two outs. Out to short, Kim. And that is that. He continues to roll on the mound as five shutout innings are in the books. And we still have no score. Back here at Petco Park, John Shabby with my buddy Chris Singleton is set to get us started. Bottom five, Xander Bogarts. Xander Bogarts. And a pitch. In for a strike. It's 0-1. Moving into the bullpen for the Cardinals. John King, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. And there's a foul ball. Righty to the plate. Foul ball still low and two. And that skips into there. And that ball. one missing low. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter right. just will not chase. Now back in a 2 2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. And ball another count. ball. Out towards right center field. Edmund sizing this one up. And out number one on the grab. Now back. Right fielder. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense, and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. That's if he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. And he deals. Wouldn't chase that time. One out, base is empty. And it is two and one. Just missed. The 
pitch. Fouls one away and now three and two. Center field. Edmund in position. Puts it away for the out. And yeah, there's two away. The first baseman, number nine. So digging in, Jake Cronenworth. Cronenworth. And that's, that's in the, the dirt. Next nice offering one. is in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. Next offering popped in the air, right field. New bar moves under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Sixth inning coming up. Still nothing on the scoreboard. And welcome back we to the ballpark. Park. And now, Paul Goldschmidt. Paul Goldschmidt. Goldie goes six feet, three inches, 36 years old. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. Swing and a miss. Strike Good ball, one. Strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to oh. commit to one velocity and stay one there. One. is fouled off. He goes down looking. We're going to take a look at the pitch sequence of that at bat. And the thing to notice are the pitch locations. Every single one of them on the edges of the strike zone. And as a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect the pitcher to be able to make quality pitches one after another like that. And so those are tough spots to do damage in a great demonstration of pitch command. And it got him a punch out that time. Next to hit, Lars Newtbar. Oh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Yeah. Swing and a miss, and it's one and one. One and one. And Two another one. ball. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. Pitch misses there. Three and one. Three one. One down, base is empty. Down the line. And that drops foul. Right hander kicks deals. Battling here as he fouls it away. And here it comes. In the air, right center. This is mashed way back and gone. That was blasted to the moon. It's 1 0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. That does it for you, Darvish. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back.
Jeremiah oh, Estrada leave. comes on now. now. Pretty tight Rockers. game, so they're looking for quality 50, 50, 50. pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Here's Nolan Arenado. Backed One off the plate up. that time. Estrada, 25 years old, and he found his way onto the team after being claimed off waivers. The pitch. In hey, for a strike, and a count one and one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Tom Cosgrove, the young lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Swing went around one, one and two. Strike. They tried oh. to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle and you get it right where you Counts want full. it. That one misses. Full count now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the second out. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, it's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Contreras stands in now, looks at that one inside. One out. Slapped foul. Two down, nobody on. Not Two close one. with that one, and it's two and one. Last couple of pitches, breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. The two one. Rip to short. Sends it across the first. And that is the inning. One for the Cardinals on the solo home run. And the home team down a run. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And we're back. And now it's Manny Machado. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game all it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. that one finds the zone and it's 0 one calling it bat can be a little bit of a dance strike one here but a few more pitches we'll see how it turns out the line of the pitch a swing and a miss. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you, pitcher and catcher on the same page right there. Oh. Yeah. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. This one in the air, right field. New bar on the move. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Now back. The catcher. Luis. Luis, Luis Campusano will hit next. Oh. Drill that towards left center field. That's well struck. And that gets down into the gap. Around first and hustling for second. And the double puts the tying run in scoring position with two away. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every rep you take. You want good balance, barrel directly to the baseball, and good long extension after contact out in front of home plate. Man, there are a lot of doubles on a swing like that. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. 
So digging in now for San Diego, Jerickson Profar. That that's one inside, ball. and that's ball one. Man, he's close as he's trying to get through six full innings right now. He's about to throw his 100th pitch. I'd be surprised if this isn't it for him. Inside corner, that's a strike. And the count one and one. Man on second, two down. And that's, nope, outside. that's outside. Two and one. With the tying run at second here in the bottom of the sixth. Hard ground ball, base stop. And they hold the runner at third base as they decide not to risk the send with two away. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And another big at bat coming up here. Looking for a way to get that tying run across with two outs. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Sonny Gray will depart. He exits with the lead and gave them a really nice... New pitcher on the bump when we get back. On the mound now, Andre Palante. And we all know about a slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. So two outs with runners on the corners. Now the DH for the Padres. Matthew Batten. And yeah. there's the strike. Capusano at third. Profar on at first with two down. And that one fouled off. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. Way one high two. with that one. Now one and two. And a swing and a miss. Huge strike out there. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Tom Cosgrove. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to the me. Base, no way. Gordon. Gordon. And a pitch. Gorman oh, yeah. leading things off and takes a strike. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. Early and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. One, two. Kicks and fires. That misses two and two. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Misses oh, outside, God. three and two now.
right side, and that is ball four. Yeah, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and a leadoff batter's on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Jordan Walker next up for the Cardinals. Just oh. missed. One ball, no strike. This is outside. Two and up. The pitch. That just misses. Now three and one. Three and one. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. And now the lefty, and that's ball, ball four. four. Take it, baby. Now have that. The center field. Tommy. And Tommy Edmond at the plate. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Close, but call the ball. And yeah, that's ball one. At the belt and fires. And a good that's eye it. there. The Tough spot right here. A couple of runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Check ball. swing. No appeal. No outs. Runners at first and second. And they're all That's loaded up. Take your base. A real bad time for a walk. You're trailing in this ball game, trying to keep things close. They've been in a difficult spot, and things aren't getting any easier. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Mason Wynn, one for two. through there for a strike. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Kicks and deals. That Ball. misses the zone. One and one. Way high. Ball, high. In this situation, he's trying to get you to pop something up or jam you. That's a really good take, knowing you got an opportunity to drive in a run here. is loaded nobody out yeah. and, swing and, a miss. and that is a big first out and Chris that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him on the base and the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play but that's how you do it keep him off balance get him out of there and deal with the next guy Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the DH, Brendan Donovan. Over three with three ground outs. Squares, pushes at it, misses it. It's a strike. One one. Makes the catch for the second out. A perfect result for the defense. A line drive out that doesn't score a run, and it takes away the opportunity for that sacrifice fly. You can't ask for much more. That's the outcome they wanted. 
Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. One for three. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Yeah, that's no, that outside. Means, that's ball. ball one. This to third, handled by Machado. Out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. So three left for St. Louis. They lead it one nothing. Back here in San Diego, here's the center fielder, Jackson Merrill. Line of the pitch. Ball That's one, ball. no strikes. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Giovanni Gallegos getting loose out there. Romero, the lefty, warming up as well. Looking to get the tying run on base. That one lifted to left. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Number two. Number two. Here's Xander Bogarts. Xander. Bogarts. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Now just to cement makes her slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Fall off foul. He deals. And oh. that skips into there. The one two. Fights it off. You'll see another. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. And that one popped to short. He's under it. And it's caught for the out. Man, he just couldn't lay off right there. Those high fastballs, they just look really good because they're high level. But they're just about impossible to get the barrel to. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. And that's too high. Is in for a strike and a count even one and one. Two outs. Right through there for a strike. And that one is lifted in the air. Dives. What a play! One of the most fun and exciting things you can do as an outfielder. You lay out, you make a diving catch, and you end the inning. That gets the team fired up in the dugout. They turn things over to the southpaw, Wandy Peralta. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Now it's the right fielder, the Lars Newtbar. Right He's already homered here in this one. Lars Newtbar. And a pitch. Just That's missed. And that's, that's off inside. That's the ball. inside edge. And that's ball two. Left hand hitter waits. That's it, ball. Breaking right. ball in there for a strike. Oh. 
Next offering is fouled back. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more. His timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Here's Nolan Arenado. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And here it comes. That one fouled off. And the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And he deals. Bows it off, still one and two. One down, base is empty. Right. Struck him out looking. No, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. And now the catcher comes up to him. Wilson Contreras. That's in there. And that is strike one. Two down, nobody on. Hammered down the right side, but foul. Two outs. Switch right. through that one. It's a strikeout. So they go quietly there. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Cardinals one and the Padres nothing. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Giovanni Gallegos. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Way to go. Three, four, five, five do up for the home the team. Place, place, place. Stepping in for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. Quarter infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And a pitch. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. Manny Machado up to the plate. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Oh, one. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. So the tying run is second. And Manny gets a piece. Side going to count one and two. And the 
right-hander deals. And that's, oh, that's off in. the inside edge. And it's 2-2. Two and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And it's second. Smoked on the ground a second. Oh. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It no, might no, not no, be no, the no, most no, challenging no, we've no, seen no, today, no. but it no, needed no, to be no. made. That's helping your team. Now it's the shortstop, Ha Sung Kim. You have to find a way to score the runner from third, especially with less than two outs. Wait for the pitch you want and hit it as hard as you can. There's a strike. The tying run is 90 feet away. Runners breaking for the plate. Ah. One attempt misses. Now they tag him for the out, and wow, either someone missed the sign completely, or he just tried to steal home. The shortstop oh, takes the ball. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in a low two count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Contreras on to first. Got him. Inning over on the strikeout. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Through eight full. It's the Cardinals one and the Padres nothing. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Adrian Morahone. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Nolan Gorman now at the plate. The second base. No Gorman. As the lefty gets to work. And first offering is fouled off. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Profar makes a nice running catch. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Walker, one the next to hit, takes ball one. Movement in the bullpen, number one, the left-hander, up and throwing. Morahone goes five feet, 11 inches, 225 pounds, and he was born in Cuba. And that That's one is inside. That misses the zone, and it's 3 and 0. Oh. the velocity 97 with that fastball one down base is empty that to right Tatis drifts towards it and puts the squeeze on that one that's out number two now that the center fielder two outs base is empty and now the center fielder Tommy Edmond not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. Right yeah. through there for a strike. No ball. One, One run strike. game here at the top of the ninth. On the ground right side, Bogarts sends it to He's first, up. and the inning is over. No runs, no hits, no errors. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the ninth. It's the Cardinals one and the Padres nothing. Welcome back and here comes the closer Ryan Helsley. Well the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different so we'll see what he's got here. So digging in now for San Diego Luis Campusano. 
Triple digits. Next outside, pitch is outside. One run game, bottom nine. That's Swings two. and misses. One, One and two. Count. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Picks and misses. It's a strikeout. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Now, Got a pitch to hit. Left, just couldn't get to it. Right, I think that right, slider right. really caught oh, way oh, more oh. of the plate than it was supposed to. He's two outs away. Jerks and Profar. The next up for the Padres. And fouled off. Territory for the catcher. Brings it in. And there's two away. The bat, the, bat. the designated the hitter. Matthew. Batten. Last chance for the Padres. Matthew Batten, the next up for the Padres. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. Right uh -huh. through there for a strike. Trying to close out a one-run lead. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. And that one fouled off. Kelsley is just one strike away. One ball, two Way strikes. outside. Now one and two. Right-handed reliever. Wouldn't chase that time. Two down, nobody on. That's, That's a little bit low. Big pitch coming right here. The last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't move on either. Two outs. Got him, and that's the ball game. Well, this was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the players standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these pitchers did on the mound today. one nothing the final for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chambi saying so long.